Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Colin Bird, who is Executive Chairman at Extract Resources. How are you today, Colin? I'm very well, thank very well, thank you very much indeed. Right, uh, big news today for Extract. Uh, could you run us through the highlights? Yeah, um, it is big news, isn't it? Um, obviously, we're very pleased. <laughs> I haven't seen that many 920 meters of continuous mineralization in my career. So one got to be very pleased with that, and especially when it comes uh, comes out at 0.33% copper equivalent. Who could um, not be happy? Who could not be pleased and look forward to the weekend? Good old, very long, and of course, pointed, you know, it was um, the intent was to find out how far this plunge goes, and uh, we went over 1,100 meters. And as I say, mineralized over the way there with some, you know, 186 meters at, at 0.4 copper equivalent, 156 meters at 0.52% copper equivalent, 44 meters at 0.55% copper equivalent. These are absolutely what the doctor ordered. I might be as well. I think I've said in, in one of your previous, um, one of our previous interviews that uh, this system was, to me, was likely to end up copper dominant. And, uh, of course, that's what the world's looking for at the moment. Copper, porphyries, great big systems that you just mill, 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 process, process for the next 20, 25 years. Not the most complicated things in the world in a very, very good jurisdiction in Australia. So I guess that, you know, as, as an extract um, part of the extract management team, I'm absolutely delighted with this result. I guess it's like our reference point is Boda, you know, because of the big market cap they, they, they carry. Now, Boda, unlike the sort of results we've got, are, as, as a mixture, they show 0.17% over 800 meters. And, of course, they get to the um, 0.3s and 0.4s copper by the addition of gold, you know. So they're kind of propped up by gold. So I'm very happy to say that our system is copper-dominant, I guess we'll have gold and silver credits, and um, that's that's good. And uh, we make mention of molybdenum. I don't think we'll get any money out of molybdenum. But what I do like, Zach, is throughout the mineralization um, trend, without, you know, through in, the entire intercept, Molly is present. And Molly is one of the best indicators in the Lackland fold, and probably internationally, globally, um, one expects to see molybdenum in these porphyries. So, you know, why wouldn't one be happy? Of course, what I'm looking forward to now is is all number two, because as I've said earlier, that you know this one went down the plunge, and we got some very nice results. We got some high results, medium results, and a and a consistent average result. Now we're going to drill across the porphyry. You know, your 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 next assays are talking about across the porphyries. So again, well, this will be very interesting on um, intercept widths, and it will be very interesting um, on the on, on on the copper grades. Whether there's uh, many gold gold um, credits, I don't know, and I, I mean, really, it's not a major interest. I'm just basically now hoping, and um, I think I've got good reason to hope that um, we'll see more copper dominance, we'll see more thicknesses, uh, all of which point towards us building a very large copper potential contributor to the future world copper. Um, this is big, you know, this is moving in a world class direction. It really is. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm so pleased that we, for the end, 920 meters, we exceeded 0.3% um, and with those very high grade intercepts as well. Very pleased, very, very pleased with the, um, with the result. And of course, you know that uh, in the highlights there, it, you know it sits there and not much attention drawn to it. But you will see that um, this this whole six is on its way. But you will also see that we've intercepted mineralization of 45 meters. Now, this old Zach, I think we explained that it's kind of drilled a bit of bleak, and it's to test further down dip plunge uh, on the western side. And so, therefore, it was probably 350 to 400 meters that we'd have to go to get the um, to get into the porphyry again. And lo and behold, we hit it, and no sooner started the old than we hit it again. And this is true porphyry style mineralization, which leads to management and um, 
our scientists, our geologists, growing impression. This is a multi-porphyry. Our on Earth, in the middle of the, those those um, volcanics, you suddenly bang into another porphyry. So very excited about that. As I say, it sits there as a highlight, not much reference to it. But to me, it's absolutely intriguing and um, points to a multi-porphyry system. And, I, you know, I, I guess overall, you you, you, you know, need me to over uh, overemphasize this is a very good result we're happy with old one and we look forward of course to old two not what is it um we don't expect it to be a wrecker but you know we, we the excitement is all about what will the copper grades be next and what will the width of that cop those copper grades be but we're very confident now because why wouldn't we be after such a nice start Right, so where are we along the line in terms of discovering and sort of seeing what we've got under our belt? Is it sort of two thirds we know and we're waiting for the, the other third or is it sort of the tip of the iceberg and there could be much more? How would you say where we are at the moment? I like that expression, tip of the iceberg, because, you know, this reference I've just made is drilling our merry way down the, um, the you know, the race course porphyry. And then, all, uh, then all of a sudden, at uh, 45 meters early on in the hole, you hit another porphyry-style mineralization. So that might be the tip of um, another porphyry. Who knows? Or we might be skimming the edge of another porphyry. Who knows? So essentially, we're on to. If we look at race course in isolation, we're on to a, a big system, constant grades, um, and building a world-class deposit. Where are we going? Well, the minimum requirement, of course, according to that Anglo buy-in, is two million tons of copper. So that's where that's where we're heading, and that's where we want to be. We keep getting surprises, surprises, all of them favourable. You know, more mineralisation to the east than we expected. On the western side, we've nipped the top of this porphyry. Everything suggests that the system is going to get bigger than racecourse. We haven't even looked at foot rot. So where we're going now is we're building on this platform. We've got a very solid platform on which to build. I think we're positioning ourselves as the best project in the Lackland fold. I think we're positioning itself as one of the emerging world-class porphyry deposits. And now it's, you know, it's, as always, back to the science. You know, this this drilling machine, Zach, has been so quick that um, that cutting the core, you know, we've, we've all, you know, we're behind. We're just working flat out to catch up with the drilling machine. So, but um, I I don't expect to wait long for all two. What we're doing, of course, is we're 3D modeling with the kind of widening out of this um, porphyry we want to do some more geophysics um, so we're going to do those we'll do geophysics to see if we can get uh, east west extension and we'll do geophysics to get down as deep as we can uh, especially towards the east and the geophysics we employ can actually do resistivity down to 1500 meters and of course we're not going to waste that opportunity by not looking at foot rot and then going to the west over where um these um, little porphyries, you know, these indications are, are popping up. We knew about them, but, um, you know, they now have got to figure in the plan. So what's the plan to drill? We're planning phase two. You don't drill two million tons of copper out with, with five and a half boroughs. So you know and I know now that we've got to do very careful planning. And the next ex- exercise hopefully will add more dimension, bringing more porphyries to play more understanding and it, and the idea is to build towards the the magical two million figures um a buyout or otherwise obviously there's no guarantee to be bought out but uh, when you get a, a project of this size quite frankly if anglo buy it out they buy it out but it it's already it's already attracting major company copper major copper company interest so very excited zach what a what a way to end week so basically, over the next month or two, you'd know the size of what you're dealing with fully. No, no, Zach, no, Zach. Um, we'll understand racecourse and the initial porphyry where this all started. But my honest and sincere opinion is that this story is just unfolding. You know, the the Cadia Ridgeway, um, which has been the, the, the big one in this area, isn't one porphyry. Um, it's four or five different systems. And, you know, we're getting sniffs here, smells there, mineralization where we didn't expect it. it <laughs> and so I think the race course in maybe three months' time will understand a little better. But the sort of district potential um, is yet to be explored. We're 
probably talk in a district. I don't think we're talking single porphyry. I think we're talking multiple porphyries. The first thing is to define race course. Hopefully that will get us to the 2 million tons of contained copper. And then, of course, we've got to look around at these um, additional, I, I think it would be too robust to call them targets, but, you know, the opportunities around are fairly evident in geophysics. And the geophysics we intend to employ will really categorize them. And uh, Foot Rock gave very good indications. So, no, by no means in two months' time will we know where we are. We'll have an extremely good indication of how many holes we have to drill to get to that two million tons of contained copper. We'll only be still learning, we'll still be learning, learning about the district potential. Now, this is, um, um, I'm very glad that in the past that people just didn't drill much deeper than 400 meters. Boy, have we opened up an opportunity with that, with this, with this campaign. Uh, the next campaign will be about definition and growth. Well, on that note, Colin Bird, Executive Chairman at Extract Resources, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to you, Zach. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.